In today's video, we're going to take a look at a business model which has been growing rapidly over the past few years. Over the past few months, I've even seen this get much more popular, and I think it's going to be a great way for people who own niche websites to diversify. It's also a really good business on its own if you wanted to start one. I'm going to be showing you what I have started so far and how I'm utilizing this business model in my business and how I'm going to be utilizing it in my niche websites moving forward. And we've seen so many niche websites or content sites that are solely relying on SEO get absolutely crushed. But if you add this component to your website, you can go ahead and actually kind of split your business into two. So even if you sell your niche website, you've still got this other revenue source over here, which you don't have to sell along with the website and you can keep it still have cash flow and get that lump. So some from selling your niche website. So let's jump in. The business model is newsletters. The one that is probably the biggest out there right now that you've probably heard of is Morning Brew. I actually used to promote them here on the channel. Morning Brew essentially sends you an email every day, rounding up the most popular news stories. I think they started specifically in marketing tech stuff and stuff like that, but now they've diversified into multiple different newsletters, which are all kind of split off. So you come up here to Brew Brands, you'll see they have a money scoop, they've got money with Kate, CFO Brew, they've got Retail Brew, Tech Brew, all of these different newsletters that they've split up. That is probably the biggest brand out there. And looking at that, it's probably too big to comprehend in your mind how you could do something like this. So let me show you something a little bit smaller. This one over here is called Ben's Bytes. And this is a guy that I find on Twitter. And what he does is he rounds up all of the latest AI news every day. Obviously right now, AI is hot. People are going out there and creating apps left and right. ChatGPT just released their API. There's so much happening that it's hard to keep up with it. So his kind of unique selling point and the problem that he's solving is giving people every single day or every other day what is going on in the AI world? What's new? What apps are new? And what do I need to know about in a you know easy to digest three minute emails? That's exactly what he does. And I'll show you exactly what one of these emails looks like. If you come in here, business in the AI era, he essentially just goes through and gives you a rundown of what has happened over the past 24 hours in AI. So Salesforce announces its generative AI plans. And then you can come down here. He does like a cool tools section. And he's pretty much got these emails templated out. So it's the same thing every day or the same template every day. So he's got, uh, you know, our picks, which are kind of the biggest news stories in AI of the day. He's then got cool tools. So any new tools that are launching in kind of the tech world in AI, he'll put them in here. Then he's got like any other miscellaneous learn courses and stuff like that. And he's probably promoting affiliate links. Now, in a minute, I'm going to explain in much more detail how you can monetize a newsletter and how you can grow a newsletter. So stay tuned for that. He's actually been able to grow this newsletter to over 40,000 newsletter subscribers right here. And you can see he's probably on about 50,000 now because that was over a week ago. And he's growing rapidly. You can see he started this back in October of 2022 with zero subscribers. He's now got 40,000 subscribers on that newsletter. So once you get a little bit bigger and once you get a little bit of a fan base in your newsletter, you can do a lot of stuff to grow it rapidly. And there's kind of network effects in play because people on the newsletter will refer the newsletter to their friends. And if you can get you know X amount of people to refer that newsletter every single day, it's going to grow rapidly. And you can see how the more people you get, the more people you get, and it has that compounding effect. So it's definitely happening right here for him. And he's a really good example of just a one-man team creating a newsletter and doing really, really well with it. The other one that I wanted to show you was The Milk Road. Some of you guys may watch My First Million. Shan on it created The Milk Road about probably a year and a half ago. He sold it for supposedly eight figures. He hasn't announced the official number or whatever, but it was a crypto newsletter. It was pretty much going ahead and you know explaining crypto news, exact same thing. Uh, that AI, the AI one was doing there, just explaining crypto news every day, what's going on, crypto prices and stuff like that. They sold for eight figures, over $10 million. They sold this for in less than two years, which is absolutely insane. You can see here what one of these emails looks like. They have this interesting little section at the top showing the Bitcoin and Ethereum price plus their public wallet. Uh, and then again, they're just going through and giving kind of 
the news stories of the day. They're just kind of rounding stuff up, putting it into an easy to compact kind of manner. Now there's tons of different ways you can do a newsletter. It doesn't have to just be like news roundup. You can do it completely differently. I'm gonna show you my newsletter in a second, which if you're not subscribed, you can subscribe down below in the description. But I'm essentially doing my newsletter as a case study where I update it every week and show you guys my niche site portfolio and how it's growing over time. As I started a fresh year in January after selling my first website, I'm going ahead and showing and documenting all of my portfolio now in that newsletter. So that's how I'm doing it. So now we know what a newsletter looks like. How do you actually monetize something like this? Well, one of the best ways to show you is probably just show you exactly how much Ben here in Ben's Bytes, the AI newsletter is charging. So we can go over and actually look at his ad rates for his newsletter. So if you wanna put a section in his ad, you can see here, a main ad in the top of the email, up to 400 characters, that is a thousand dollars. And he sends this email every single day. Then he also has unclassified, which is at the bottom of the email. It's 140 characters long and it's 10 available per email. So he could do $2,000 on them. He definitely doesn't do that every day, but the potential is there. You can see he's doing that for $200. So say he gets one main ad per email uh, and does one of the unclassifieds per email. That's 1,200 times, let's just say five if he's only doing it during the week. That gives us $6,000 a week from this newsletter. And that's not even including affiliates, which he could make a lot more money with, especially with all these links to different products that he does here. You can see whenever he does cool tools, he links out to them. Now, I'm not sure if these are affiliate links. Let's just click on one. Uh, let's do map the juice here. That's not an affiliate link. Is this one an affiliate link? That's not an affiliate link. A lot of these tools are brand new launches, so they probably don't have affiliate programs yet, but he could do that in here and monetize with affiliate links. So if we actually look here, you can see the unclassified section, he just literally gets the sponsor to go ahead and you know they create the copy for it, they put it here, and he just copies and pastes it into this email section at the bottom. You can see he got one, two, three, four in this one, so there's $800 right there. And if we scroll up to the top, let's see if he had, he has a sponsor right here, that's that top sponsor, the big one. So in this email, he made $1,800 sending this. He's sending one of these every single day. Now I have looked through them. Some of them don't have that main ad spot. You know, it's gonna be hard to sell them every single day, but there's huge amounts of money to be made here and that's how you can monetize it. Now there is different ways you can monetize with this. Ads and affiliates are kind of the main way. And then if you already have a following, a good way to do it is by having a premium newsletter. And a premium newsletter means you're charging money for it. You can see here, one of the ones that I like is the half marathoner. Uh, this guy actually used to have a half marathoning website where he went through and he kind of like showcased different half marathons around the USA. He actually sold that website for six figures. And off the back of that niche website, he built this, which is the half marathoner and it's a newsletter. So he got to keep the newsletter when he sold his website for six figures, which is really, really cool. And it's definitely an interesting thing to think about and something that you should think about implementing when building up your site because I'm in a situation right now where I just sold my website back in January and it was nice to get a lump sum. We sold it for six figures, but now I don't have any income coming from niche websites anymore. So a big chunk of my cash flow every month has just disappeared. Whereas if I had this, now my niche didn't really work too well for having a newsletter. It would have been hard to get sponsors. It wouldn't really made sense. But if I did have a newsletter, I could have kept it and kept it kind of as a separate business, just using the website to grow it and then went ahead and still had my cash flow from the newsletter every single month and get that lump sum by selling the website. So obviously I didn't do that at that stage, but I think if you already have a website, you can grow these new letters really, really quickly. Like I was getting hundreds, 300,000 page views per month. Now, even if we got like a 1% conversion rate or a 0.5% conversion rate on that, that's 1,500 to 3,000 subscribers on a newsletter per month people who want to engage with you and get your content. So I really like this. Now, how he monetizes this, he might also do affiliate, you know, when he promotes a pair of shoes or something that he's wearing. Um, but his main way of monetizing is paid subscriptions. So you can see here, he does some free posts on the newsletter, but also there is a paid newsletter where he does more stuff. So you can see here what you get. You can either pay monthly for $5 a month, annual for $50 a year, or you can pay a little bit more if you want. So that gets you additional member only posts, chat anytime with other members who are in this newsletter as well. And Substack provides all of that and you get the money into your account. That's one way to do it. And it's probably a better way if you already have a following. 
If you're starting out and you're just doing it like off the back of your website traffic, I would say to go with the ad route, the affiliate route in the newsletter initially. So now we've looked at how you can monetize, let's talk a little bit about how exactly this works with niche sites. So if you have a niche site already, one of the biggest problems is Google updates and they've only got worse over the past couple of months, you know, past year has been brutal. People get their sites wiped out. And there's a couple of things I'm doing to, you know, kind of avoid that or stop that from happening. There's different ways you can do it. You can diversify traffic sources outside of Google and that's fine, but everyone talks about that. There's a couple of other ways that you can do it. One is recurring revenue. So every month when you're battling for ad revenue, you're essentially going ahead and just relying on today's traffic to pay today's money. However, if today's traffic pays for money long into the future, you can make a lot more and it secures you. I have one affiliate program that I promoted a few years back that still pays me over a thousand dollars per month. That affiliate program was recurring. Even though I made the videos back in the day, I'm still getting paid from them, even though there's no really new fresh traffic coming to that video or post that I made back then. And I'm still getting paid from it. So if you can have a recurring subscription and you can do this either by creating your own product or by having an affiliate program that has recurring affiliates. So a lot of them out there, they'll pay you every single month as long as the customer stays subscribed to the program. So if the customer stays subscribed, you'll get money every month. So even if your traffic drops off, all them people who are already paying will still be paying you even when your traffic's at zero. So that is one way to do it. The second I think is newsletters. If you've got a ton of traffic right now, you wanna be capturing them emails because if you can create a newsletter, that goes ahead and captures them emails and has its own revenue source that isn't from ads on your website, you can monetize this. And as long as you've got that email list, you can always send emails and make money with it. Obviously, it has its own downsides. It has its own risks. And if you send out boring content every week, people are gonna unsubscribe, they're not gonna open, your open rates are gonna tank, and that's going to obviously lead to not being able to sell ad sponsors. But if you keep the content good, you will do well with your newsletter. However, no matter how good people's content is on Google, some of them still get hit. So when you've got the traffic, capture as many emails as possible, get them into your newsletter where you're writing content weekly or you hire someone to write content weekly. Maybe it's news roundups, maybe it's a case study you're doing, whatever it is, do that weekly over on the newsletter and monetize that. So that's a great way, I think, to diversify and build it out using your niche sites traffic that you already have, or just go ahead and put it in now while you're starting out. And as you grow, you're gonna capture all of them emails rather than waiting to put it on your site later. Now, let's go ahead and talk about exactly how you can do this. And I'll show you a little bit around my newsletter that I do every single week. So this is inside my dashboard for my newsletter, which is called Content Profits. In my newsletter, I talk about building out my niche website portfolio. I think we've done six or seven issues now. I started it back here on the 19th of January in 2020. So far, we've got 317 subscribers and hopefully you guys watching this video will go ahead and subscribe down below if you wanna follow along with the journey and get that number up a little bit. But you can see it's growing nicely here. So I've been growing this and I'm not monetizing it really at all right now. I do include a couple of affiliate links when it makes sense to in the newsletter. But in future, I plan to monetize this with sponsors in the kind of niche website space, whether that is, you know, obviously link building agencies, it could be uh, keyword research programs, it could be different types of software, it could be hosting, whatever it is, hopefully we can get some advertisers for this newsletter and make some decent money out of it. But I'm just documenting it as I would anyway, and I like documenting the journey and having it all there to look back on. The platform I use is Beehive, and right now it's completely free for me because I have under 2,500 subscribers. So as long as you've under 2,500 subscribers, you don't really need to go on a paid plan. I'm not gonna go into the super nitty gritty of setting all this up because it's actually very, very simple. You just go in and follow the simple instructions, but I will show you what it looks like to write an email and send it out. So first things first is you need to capture emails on your niche site. So if you want to do that, come down to publication and click on subscribe forms. And you can see here, you can create a new form. When you create a new form, you just fill in this information right here and it'll give you the code that you can add to your website with a little pop-up form, or if you just wanna embed it on a certain section on your website. And then when they're subscribed, they'll be added to your Beehive newsletter right here. So that's as simple as that. That's how you're capturing the email. So obviously you'll want to have a newsletter on your website that's related to your niche or your topic. Put it up there, you know, talk about exactly what you're gonna give them each week. Is it gonna be a daily newsletter, weekly newsletter? What is it? Tell them what it's about 
and let them come in and subscribe. So get that on your website. That's how you're gonna start getting subscribers in. You also essentially have a website in itself on Beehive. So you can see here, Content Profits is my website. If I copy this and paste it right here, this is what people see when they go to my link. And this is how you can subscribe to this newsletter. And it's super easy to set up. I just literally, you know, it, it pretty much does everything itself. You just type in exactly what your title is, your little description, and then you've got the subscribe right here. And down here is all of the posts that I've sent out. Now you don't have to showcase your emails on a website. You can literally just send them out as emails, but I thought why not publish these on the website as well so that people can see them. They can go back and look at other uh, case studies and see kind of where it started. So you can see here, this is the most recent newsletter that I sent out. If you scroll down, I pretty much you know give out everything, the complete overview of February, how the websites are going, all of that fun stuff and exactly what I'm doing. As they scroll, if they're viewing it on this, they'll get a pop-up to subscribe. So I send out updates and kind of tips, right? So I'll send out an update on how my port portfolio is doing. And then I'll also try and send out essentially something that I've learned during the week or something that I've learned in the past of building websites to share with my audience. And that's kind of my unique selling point and what my newsletter is about. That's kind of what the Beehive website looks like. If we go back to the dashboard here, you can literally just write your emails. It's super quick. It takes me about an hour and a Monday morning to write it out and send it. I'll just go into one of my existing posts and show you what the editor looks like. If you've used WordPress before, it's very similar to that. So you can see here, this is the editor. You've got the post, your email, your headline and stuff like that right here. Do you want to publish it to the website, your kind of URL and stuff. And then over here is just your simple editor. So. Uh, you can go ahead, you can add images in here, you can add your links in, you can type stuff in up there. I'm gonna remove this before it gets added to the post, but you can then go ahead, add all of your images, and you can bold stuff, put headers in, you can make it look nice. And in the settings of Beehive, you can also kind of customize, you know, what color do you want your links to be? What do you want the color palette of your whole newsletter to be? And all of that stuff. So it's super easy to use. It's free up in the 2,500 subscribers. There's really no reason not to be having this on your website. Now, I do think that obviously certain niches are gonna do so much better with this than others. You know, I think if you're in like the tech niche where you're reviewing TVs, it's gonna be hard to go ahead and, and do a newsletter. For example, if you're doing troubleshooting stuff where you're like, you know, how to fix XYZ with XTV, I'm probably not gonna sign up to your newsletter. But for example, if you're building a website based around AI and AI tutorials and how to do stuff with AI, having an AI newsletter is probably a good idea and people will wanna get updates on the latest tools coming out. So you think about your niche, think about what you're doing and does it fit your niche? You've got the half marathoner there where it's a big community of runners. Someone who's interested in doing a half marathon probably wants to see running content. So a newsletter makes sense right there. So you have to think about your audience and whether this makes sense or not for you. But I think for most people, it makes a lot of sense. It's a really easy way to get it set up. I'm gonna link down below to Beehive in the description so you can set up your newsletter if you want to. Let me know if you're already running a newsletter and it's doing well, let me know down in the description. Uh, but there's tons of other tools in here. A lot of these tools are on the paid plan. I don't use any of them right now because I'm just, the website or the, the, the newsletter isn't big enough. We don't have enough subscriber to make sense of paying for the analytics, but you can see here the type of analytics you're getting. You're getting all of the information on your open rates, where's your audience from, really good analytics in there. You can get a post report on which posts do better, which headlines do better, what is your audience actually interested in. You've also got grow here. And this is one of the best features about this compared to stuff like MailChimp and all of that. You've got referral programs. So referral programs, essentially, whenever someone subscribes to your newsletter, you can recommend other newsletters on the Beehive platform. And it, you know, it works really well. Like when I subscribe to people on Substack or on Beehive, I generally click and like, if I'm interested in a newsletter, I'll subscribe to it just from their little bio. So you can get a lot of subscribers through referrals and recommendations. They've also got stuff here like magic links, which means other newsletters can promote you and it'll just one click subscribe. So you have a lot of features here to grow within Beehive as well, not just outside it from your niche site. So you're really kind of giving yourself a moat on your niche site and have something that's a completely different revenue source compared to running ads or affiliate on your site. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys want me to do like a full tutorial on how to set up your newsletter from scratch, let me know down in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you're new here, and make sure to subscribe to my newsletter down below in the description.